Everything that I know about America, especially the American South, has gone into this novel. still feel the ghosts of the old mill. You can still feel those unsettled spirits of 1929. And it feels as if they're watching you. And that moment in 1929, it still lives there. The Last Ballad tells the story of a single mother named Ella Mae Wiggins. She works for $9 a week for 72 hours in a textile mill. And when she hears about this strike just seven miles to the east at the Lorry Mill in Gastonia, North Carolina, which coincidentally is my hometown, for the first time she sees a way to keep her children alive. And so throughout the novel, Ella Mae is challenged in ways that she never could have imagined. But everything she does is for her family. And I think that this speaks to the plight of the working poor here in America. There are people in our society at this very moment who are literally living paycheck to paycheck. An illness, a layoff, a firing, a factory closing affects these people's lives in irreparable ways that many of us can never understand. The last ballot is set in 1929, but it could very easily be set today. Ella Mae and her legacy and the struggles of her life were swept from history. And so I wrote this novel to try to reclaim something of her story, to try to reclaim something of the story of the labor movement in the South, and to reclaim something of my own past for myself and for my children.